Trucker Dump for May 3rd, 2012, episode 84. TV casting call for a new show about truckers. Welcome to Trucker Dump, where you'll get one driver's insights and sometimes humorous views of truck driving and the trucking industry, and pretty much anything else he feels like dumping on you. This podcast is brought to you by AboutTruckDriving.com. Resources that help you understand the world of truck driving through the use of stories and a pathetic attempt at humor. Hey there, folks. Todd McCann here. Well, once again, we got something new in store for you today. Today, we're going to explore peanut butter. What is it? How is it made? What's it feel like when your dog licks it off your face? <laughs> okay, okay. I lie. We're not really going to do that. Thank God. No, today I'm actually kind of feeling like a real blogger for a change of pace. Actually, it started a while back when Jason from TruckDriverNews.com asked me to guest post for his site. Not long after, a writer named Lisa Nowak contacted me asking me for some advice on trucking for a book she was writing. Check out TruckerDump79 for that story if you haven't heard it already. Fast forward a bit, and I was contacted by a television producer from the UK. They were looking into doing a documentary about lot lizards as well as a reality show for truckers. They were asking for some insights about the trucking industry and some advice on where to find some more information. Earlier this year, I was asked to do an interview for JobShadow.com, which is a site that's designed to give you an insider's view of any particular job. I did one on being a physicist. <laughs> okay, maybe not. A couple of months after that, the good folks at the Good Men Project asked to repost some of my articles on their website. I've even been asked to review a couple of products. I've refused some that I didn't think you guys would be interested in. Others, I accepted, and I've received a couple of them already, and I'm in the process of reviewing them right now. So you can expect those sometime in the future. So now we're caught up to today, where I was contacted recently by yet another member of the world of television. This time it was a request for more information about getting the word out to the trucking industry. So that's what this post is. And that catches us up. Whew. Now did I tell you all this so you'd think I'm some sort of big shot? Actually, no. I'm completely humbled by it all, actually. I never expected this blog and podcast to go anywhere. Sure, I hoped it would, but I never really expected people to ask me for advice. Me? I mean, I'm no expert at anything. I'm sure the majority of you truckers out there know far more about this industry than I do. Heck, that's precisely why I'm always asking for you drivers to write in and leave your comments. It's just that I happen to have a blog and a few people who knew less about trucking than me happen to stumble on it. That in itself amazes me because I know how far back the blog is on Google. I mean, it's way back on page 10 or something. You and I both know that people rarely search past page 1. I know I don't. So I said all that to say this. Thanks. Plain and simple, thanks for reading the blog. Thanks for listening to this podcast. Thanks for following me on Twitter. And thanks for letting me have a bit part in your life. And if you're interested in any of that crap I mentioned, there will be links to everything in the show notes. Okay, enough with the mush. Let's get on with today's podcast, which, by the way, might be totally irrelevant if you're hearing it after May 18th of 2012. But hey, even so, you wouldn't want to miss out on all my fabulous wit, would you? Okay, maybe not, but I did work hard on it, so just play along with me. And once again, I went all out with another creative title. Not. It's called TV Casting Call for a New Show About Truckers. Some titles are so good, they just write themselves. In my 15 years of watching truck drivers interact with waitresses, cashiers, shipping clerks, forklift drivers, mechanics, and heck, even other truckers, I've discovered that 99% of truckers think they're in some way either funny, amusing, interesting, unique, extremely handsome, or most likely, all of the above. Sadly, a big chunk of us aren't any of those things. If you need proof of that, I've got over 80 blog posts and podcasts you're welcome to peruse. But that doesn't mean that all of us are as annoying as a truck trap fly equipped with a bullhorn and a teeny tiny jet pack. I'm sure there are some drivers out there who actually are funny, amusing, interesting, or unique, and possibly even too sexy for their shirt. Well, here's your chance to prove it. The Speed Channel is looking for drivers who are interested in being on a new show about truckers. 
It's called Payload, and it's being called an adventure race. While they're naturally keeping the details of the race locked up at CIA headquarters, I can tell you there'll be four drivers competing for a whopping 70000 bucks. There will be seven legs of the race, each worth $10,000, and all four drivers will do all seven legs. So if you're the super trucker that you think you are, you could win all seven legs and be $70,000 richer. Just remember that I'm your friend if that happens. And I've had my eye on a decked-out 13-inch MacBook Air. I'd say from the looks of the payload video that this show looks like it's got a heck of a lot of potential for making truckers look good for a change of pace. Check it out for yourself. There'll be a link to the video in the show notes, or you can go to abouttruckdriving.com and search for TD84. And if the server at my website is slower than a prime truck at full throttle, you can also see the video at www.payloadcasting.com. Okay, now I'm assuming you went and saw the video. Now let me clarify something that was in the text at the end of the video. When I watched this video for the first time, I thought, Oh great, since it mentions showing off your skills in your rig, they must be looking for owner-operators. Well, I've got good news for you company drivers. I contacted Mark Levine, one of the casting directors for the show, and found out that casting is open to all truck drivers, both owner-operators and company drivers. Mark said that finding the right drivers was first and foremost, and if that means that some of the right drivers wind up being company drivers, they'd supply a truck for him or her to drive. Cool, huh? You know, now that I think about it, Mark actually said they were looking for the right characters. I'm not sure how he meant it, but I know some of you fit that category for sure. Or maybe you know someone who'd be perfect for the show. Well, here's the thing. If you or a buddy wants to be a part of this show, you'd better kick it into Georgia Overdrive and get your video and application in quick. The deadline is May 18th, and they don't want you waiting around until the last minute. So don't screw around and mess up your chances. Pretend like you're hauling an expedited load and get it to them ASAP. If you're interested in putting your name in the hat, go to www.payloadcasting.com for more details, or you can contact Mark Levine or Heather May directly at payloadcasting at gmail.com. That's payloadcasting at gmail.com. Now be sure to include a brief description of yourself, a history of your trucking experience, two recent photos of you and your truck, and a phone number to reach you. A brief video would also help them get a good idea of your camera mojo. So what are you waiting for? You could either sit around here and wait another month for me to put up another blog post, or you could get yourself on payload, earn some extra dough, buy me a 13-inch MacBook Air, and finally convince everyone that you're as cool as you've been telling everyone for years. And let's face it, about the only way that'll ever happen is for everyone to see your ugly mug on the Speed Channel. Hey, yo, bud, where do you want this load of feedback? Well, okay, let's see what we got in store. Looks like we got a few comments on the uh, post called A Trucker Visits Car Hinge. That's the one I actually did a video and explored my artsy side. (laughs) First off, Chris writes in. That's driver Chris MC on uh, Twitter. He says, very nice. Not sure I'd take the time to stop for that, but now thanks to your video, I really don't have to. (laughs) Totally agree with you. The Camera Plus app is the bee's knees, as Dark Staff would say. Not sure him or Alan, that's Alan Q. Bristol on Twitter, would agree, but speaking for myself, it's not so much your artsy side we want to see. But I just think if we can get you to post some more pics, maybe, and I know this is a long shot, but just maybe you won't be so dang long-winded. <laughs> like they say, a picture's worth a thousand words. <laughs> Oh, Chris. Well, long shot is the understatement of the year. Congratulations. You win, Jack Squat. (laughs) Thanks for stopping by and watching the video. And keep up the wishful thinking. Lisa Nowak writes in and says, Ha! A gremlin. Gotta love gremlins. That was my first car. You know, Lisa, I don't know what it is with gremlins, but it's such a butt-ugly car, yet everybody commented on that. I know for one, Helmet or Heels uh, made a comment about it on uh, Twitter. Everybody notices the grim one. They're just horrible. Anyway, she goes on to say, Sorry Portland put a crimp in your wallet. It probably rained while you were there too, huh? Well, as for our trip to Portland, surprisingly, it was nice and sunny. 
Although I think nearly every other time we've driven up through there, it's given us a free truck wash. And last, and certainly least, I jest, <laughs> is Ray Sunshine 77 That's her handle on Twitter also. She says, I hate to be a Debbie Downer. No, really. But all the cool things I've done out here have been happenstance and mostly free. Yeah, dinners are going to be expensive. You eat ramen and peanut butter to put the budget back on track. My Easter weekend on the beach in Florida, including sunrise service at the local bar, tour of downtown New York City, frozen Niagara Falls, the Harry and David tour, and the hundred other cool things I've done were all free. One required cab fare. The rest just needed a few hours and the willingness to walk, something we all need to do more of. Quite frankly, I'm always happier to be out here when I'm thinking of where I might go next. What adventure awaits? I think you need less time on the iPhone and more time in the real world. By the way, the video was cool. You did good. Did I just hear that from Ray Sunshine? I did good? Hmm. Might be an imposter. I'm going to have to check this out. <laughs> well, Gene, you're my constant Twitter nemesis, so you may as well transfer that over to the blog, too. Anyway, seriously, though, I'm glad you called me out on this because it's good if someone new to trucking reads this, they'll catch both sides of the story. I'm sure it's totally possible to find things to do that don't cost much money. I know you aren't alone here. I know Kevin of M.I. on Twitter goes exploring a lot, too. And I think he does it relatively cheaply. I guess it just boils down to my lack of an adventurous spirit. The evil overlord has that in spades, so I was forced to do a lot of things when she was out here. Well, I guess forced is a bit strong of a word. Perhaps persuaded is more accurate. <laughs> like Niagara Falls. We too saw it in the dead of winter, and it didn't cost a dime. Well, it didn't until we walked across the bridge into Canada, and the evil overlord went on a spree in the duty-free gift shop. I do have to thank her for seeing the falls, though. I know I'd have never gone to see it without her, and it was pretty freaking awesome. So anyway, Gene, thanks for dropping by and leaving your thoughts. If I didn't welcome a differing opinion, I'd have never married the evil overlord. Well, thanks Chris, Lisa, and Gene for writing in. I do appreciate getting y'all's comments. Love getting the feedback. So keep them coming, and here's how you can do that. So, you think you got what it takes to make the cut, or even win the whole stinking thing? Or, I guess if you've already missed the deadline, you'll have to go on convincing your partner that you're all that in a box of chocolates. I can't imagine what your comments could be on this one, but if you got them, type TD84 into the search bar at abouttruckdriving.com and start typing. If you've got questions, comments, or suggestions for the podcast, you can email me at truckerdump at gmail.com. I heard at Todd McCann is an excellent follow on Twitter, too. That's two D's, two C's, and two E's. And hey, if you're one of the masses that hadn't subscribed to the blog or the podcast yet, please consider it. It sure helps with the Google Foo and the iTunes rankings. Well, thanks for listening. So until next time, drive safe and stay out of my way. <laughs>